So I know that this isn't gonna make much sense being in the video right here. Um, I just needed something to record, but long story short, I just wanted to say sorry for the delay on this video. Um, as it's getting close to the Christmas season, I'm sure all of you are busy, just like myself. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that this is kind of a short filler video. So the next videos can be much better um, a few of those include a bank video on yin. I'm going to release a full chambers solo guide with welfare gear, um, a really in-depth, really well-made guide, along with obviously all of the next episodes of Ultimate Raider. So with all that being said, um, thank you guys so, so much for all of the support and I will see you in the next videos. Thank you. And this is the first part of emptying out my looting bag. Uh, gonna be using all the supplies I have in here. First one is 99 fletching coming in, finishing off all these dragon arrows. I'm gonna finish off the dragon darts and we will keep it going. Oh, thank you everybody. By the way, I'll just let the clip roll and let everybody congratulate me. Thank you guys. We got yet another um, 99 coming in right here with 99 fishing, got about 1300 mantas. Um, kind of want to keep on skilling and I really want to comp as soon as possible so I can free up some bag space. So I'm actually considering doing quite a lot of fishing, maybe a lot of thieving and stuff like that. So I know this won't make the most sense to you guys, but I'm about three weeks ahead on my recording right now. So um, what I've decided to do is while I'm slowly releasing all of those clips and episodes, I figured I would just, like I said, work on comp as much as possible. I uh, got the first milestone coming in right now at just over 20 million fishing experience with about 3,300 mantas fished. I actually just got another achievement right here known as Skillful. That one you get whenever you reach 30 million experience in any given non-combat skill and that's 30 mil fishing experience with about 6500 mantas fished not that that's really of any importance but i just got my first pet at a little over 31 million fishing experience that's actually the first pet on the account uh pretty cool coming in with another fishing milestone just hit 60 million experience currently at 17,750 mantas and still going strong i don't remember the last level that i recorded but there is 80 million um, fishing experience coming in currently up to 23,000 mantas and it's bonus experience weekend so i'm going to try and do as much as possible not too sure where I last recorded, but this morning I just hit 125 million fishing experience. Um, I'm really trying to get this grind over with before all of the next videos are released because I don't want to put too much of a delay on those next ones. So I'm really pushing 200 mil fishing and then I'm going to cook as many mantas as I can and hopefully get 200 mil cooking. We'll see. Well, um... Got some love from the Zami boss today. There's a pair of Zami dehyde boots. Not bad. So in the process of working towards comp, I completely forgot about one of the achievements to complete um, 10 hard clue scrolls, which I just completed my first. It's somewhere up here. I didn't get anything. I got like some raw mantas, a Zami kite shield, and like a diamond. Um, but yeah, there was actually just an overhaul recently to where you can't reset steps anymore. And so until Ami fixes that, which I'm really hoping he will, I think clues are going to be a pain because there's a lot of deep wilderness steps now. Um, and if you can't drop those, then completing them is going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, I just finished my first hard clue scroll. Luckily, no wilderness step. Update on the fishing experience. We are about 3 million away. And it looks like I was able to complete the second clue without having to drop it. So, what's the loot gonna be? Um, nothing. 
All right, well, at least I was able to complete two of the 10 required clue scrolls. So I have a pretty crazy grind coming to an end any second now. There it is, 200 million fishing. End of the Mantas is at um, 58k. So the next step, I'm gonna cook as many of these as possible and that way I never have to worry about food again in the future. So I don't know what all I've recorded of this cooking grind as there's not too much to record, but as you can see I just broke the 25,000 cooked mantas and I am currently sitting at 142 million cooking experience. Gonna finish out this 200 mil and continue on with the next goal. So I completely just missed the level, but as you can see there is 200 mil cooking. That means that we now have two of the three required stats for completion escape. So current goals are going to be to get closer to max. So I'm going to work on stuff like finish off rune crafting, smithing, uh, thieving, stuff like that. After that, I'm going to work on clearing out my bag. I'm going to use up some of these supplies. Uh, I'm going to grind out for the Zenite, and then uh, after I get the Zenite, do some more skilling and some more prep, we are back off to do the next 40 raids. Missed the uh, level again right there, but there is um, 90 rune crafting, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to soul runes to finish out this 99. And just like that, there is the next 99 on the count. Next off, we are probably going to finish up crafting somehow, go off to thieving. Afterwards, we'll probably find a way to do the smithing and construction, but we'll just keep at it. So I just missed it, but I got 99 thieving there. I think that the next goal is going to be smithing. Um, I have some supplies in the looting bag, like the rune bars and the gold ore, but in order to get those out, I'm going to have to suicide, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do before I suicide, because in order to do so, it takes time, and then the stuff goes to the untradeables, so I guess I'll just think about it for a little bit and come back with whatever I decide to do. Well, I had to teleport out because, as you can see, I'm on 4 HP, but anyways... I killed the demonic gorilla on the same tick that I teleported and I got myself a Zenite shard. You know, there's something funny about this server, like whenever you know you're gonna get a drop, you get a drop. Whenever you don't think you're gonna get a drop, you don't get a drop. And you never ever get a drop whenever you're just kind of like, ah, I might get a drop right here. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but... Anyways, I just got the Zenite Shard, I can go ahead and make myself the Anguish, and now all we need to do is get some more supplies before we are back off to do our next 40 raids. Kind of got an idea of how many potions I need, so what I'm going to do is get like 80 of everything and we will get to the next 40 raids. So I haven't price checked it yet, but I literally just got three obby moles back to back to back to back. Um, RNG this time was insane. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these and see if it's enough to get me an onyx. I hope so. Ooh, I don't think so. No, looks like I'm going to need about another drop or two. So, alright, good try. And this last plate body that I got is for sure the 300,000 required tokel. So now I got an onyx and I'm going to go turn this into a necklace of anguish, finish prepping my raid supplies, and we'll be off to do our next 40 raids. So I have quite a lot of people asking me quite often just how you make um, Zenite jewelry. So what you do is you get whatever um, onyx piece you want. So for instance, if I want the Necklace of Anguish, I need an Onyx Necklace. Once you enchant it, then you'll have the Berserker Necklace, you use the Zenite on it, and you get the Necklace of Anguish just like that. Um, yeah, and that's all there is to it. So as you can see here, I uh, recently died. I was going to Zamorok to try and get a few wine drops, but in the process he stacked me out for like a 50 or something. 
So I was able to go to the Chaos Temple and loot myself some wines to make all the range pots that I'll need. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these, then I'm gonna go pick up the Toad Flax and the nests and all that, and just kinda get my inventory resorted, and once all that is taken care of, uh, I'm gonna start the next set of raids. Alright, so we're back to do our next session of raids. Um, same melee gear as last time. The range gear is changed up with the anguish, so we have an extra switch now. Same thing, just the two-way mage switch. Same supplies as last time. Uh, with all that being said, let's get the next 40 raids on the go.